Hey, what is up, Retouch Pro friends? Today I've got another editing tutorial for you. We've been asked in the comment section on how to use the dodge and burn function in Retouch Pro. So in this video, I will show you my own way of using it. So, what exactly does dodge and burn do? A straightforward answer is that it brightens and darkens certain parts of the image to give depth or dimension to the subject. Dodge brightens, while burn darkens. There are numerous ways to execute this effect, but the simplest way is adding two curves adjustment layers, one is to brighten while the other is to darken. Note that dodging and burning does not have a definitive rule. Every image is going to be different, and it is on the hands of the editor on how he wants this final image to look like. And to be honest, I barely use the dodge and burn technique because I usually utilize my off-camera flash or just play with the ambient light. As I've always mentioned on my videos, photo editing is objective, and everyone has his own unique style and workflow. So just take this as a guide, and I hope that you'll learn something. I'm just showing you how I use these functions here in Retouch Pro. If you'd like to purchase this Photoshop panel, click the link down in the video description and use my coupon code to get a 5% discount. Alright, so let's start. Let's use this image right here. Let's first duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl J. Then select the Spot Heating Brush tool and remove the distracting blemishes and dark spots. Okay, now we're ready to smooth in the skin. Let's open up the Retouch Pro panel and click on Easy. Then you click the white brush down below and start painting on the face. I'm just doing this quickly for this demo. But when you do your own edits, take it slow and be precise when brushing. And to double check what we have painted, select the mask, hold the Alt key, and click on the mask. Then we paint white on the areas that we've missed. And to go back, select the mask, hold the Alt key, and click on the mask. Now let's change the brush color to black and paint on the areas that we don't want to apply the smoothing effects such as the eyebrows, eyes, and the lips. So this is the easy skin smoothing function in Retouch Pro. Obviously, the effect is too much, so let's decrease the opacity to 60%. Now this looks more natural. Let's open up the Retouch Pro panel again and this time, click on Texture. Then we start painting on the face again. I know that it looks weird, but just ignore it for now and just continue painting so we can see the effect. Now we can decrease the opacity to 60%. It's still a bit strong, so let's decrease it to 40%. Okay, this looks nice. We're now ready to dodge and burn. Let's open up the Retouch Pro panel and click on Dodge and Burn. Then let's expand the layer and select the Dodge layer. Then select the Brush tool, make sure that the color is set to white, and set the flow to 10%. Then we start painting on the areas of the face that are protruding. These are the areas where the light hits first, such as the nose, cheeks, chin, and forehead. Let me toggle the dodge layer on and off so you can see the effect. And if we need to correct what we've painted, just change the brush color to black and paint away. Now it looks much better. Let's now select the burn layer and paint on the areas of the face that produces shadows using a white brush. Those areas are the edges of the face, the sides of the nose, and under the lips. Let me toggle the burn layer and show you the effect. Now the face is taking its shape. Let me just dodge the upper eyelids quickly. 
and this is without dodge and burn with dodge and burn if you find the effect too strong you can always decrease the opacity or select the mask and paint black on the areas that you want to remove or lighten the effect This is the before, after. The effect is subtle, but it gave the image more depth and a 3D-like appearance. What do you think? Will you be using dodge and burn effect on your photos? Comment down below. Now let's try to add more color to her skin. Let's go ahead and click on skin tone. Then let's click on this color right here. Select the brush tool, make sure that the color is set to white, then we paint on the skin. Again, I'm just doing this quickly for this demo. Make sure to always be accurate when painting. Let's now switch to the black brush and paint on the areas that you want to exclude the effect. Okay, that should do it. Then let's decrease the opacity to 60%. This is the before, after. So this is how you change the skin tone using the Retouch Pro panel. Let's proceed with our next example right here. Again, let's start by removing the unwanted dark spots. Then we apply skin smoothing on the face with the easy function. I'll be painting the face using a white brush. Then exclude some errors by painting with a black brush. Then I will decrease the opacity of the effect to about 50%. Next is I will run the texture effect. And to save us some time, I'll just copy the mask by clicking it, then hold the Alt key, and drag the mask on the top layer, like so. Then click Yes. Then decrease the opacity to 20%. Alright, this looks good. Let's group the two layers by both selecting them and pressing Ctrl G. Before, after. Now we're done with the first part. It's now time to apply the dodge and burn effect. So we go back to the Retouch Pro panel and click on dodge and burn. Then we expand the layer, click on dodge. Make sure that the brush tool is selected, and set the flow to 10%. Then toggle the brush color to white, and we start drawing the highlights on the face. Now again, it is up to your creativity on how you want to add the highlights to the face. With practice, you will get the hang of it, and you will know how to approach different subjects. Okay, so I'm done with the highlights. Now let's click the burn layer and add contour to enhance the shadows on her face. Okay, this looks great. This is before dodge and burn. After dodge and burn. Let's zoom in. Before. After. What do you think? Does it look better with or without dodge and burn? Comment down below. Let me just make a few corrections right here. Before. After. Alright, I'm happy with this. And now for our last example, let's try to apply dodge and burn on a darker skin tone. Again, we first remove the distracting blemishes and skin imperfections. Then we can apply the Retouch Pro Easy Skin Smoothing effect. I will fast forward this step since we've done this a couple of times already. Alright, so we're done smoothing the face. This is the before, 
and this is after. Now let's apply the dodge and burn effect. We start with dodge first, and using a white brush, we set the flow to 10%, then we start drawing the lines to emphasize the highlights and give a shine to the face. Now we go to the burn layer and try to darken certain areas on the face, like so. And let me just go back to the dodge layer and make a few corrections by switching to the black brush and erase some of the highlights on the forehead. Okay, now this looks much better. This is without the dodge layer, with the dodge layer. And this is without the burn layer, with the burn layer. This is with the skin smoothing effect, and this is with dodge and burn effect. I know this is not perfect, but I'm pretty sure you already got the idea on how to use the dodge and burn technique. So go ahead and practice it yourself. That's the only way that you will really understand how these functions work. And don't be afraid to make mistakes. It's all part of the process. It's one way to learn and discover your own technique. That would be all for today's video. If you have questions or you want to learn more about the Retouch Pro panel, comment down below and I'll see if I can make a video about it. Again, use my coupon code at checkout to get 5% on your next purchase. I'll see you guys on my next video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.